Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, Venmo, and the Patreon family. We are working. Now, HBO Saturday, November 25th at the theater, Madison Square Garden. It goes down. You have Sergey Kovalev, The Crusher, versus Vacheslev Lionheart Shabransky. And that's the main event. They just added another light heavyweight fight to the bill. And that's the Cuban once beaten. He lost to Andre Ward and Sullivan Barrera. He's going to face a former WBA interim light heavyweight champion named Felix Mangu Valera. He has a record of 15 to 1, 13 knockouts. So pretty good knockout ratio. He's from the DR Dominican Republic. And that's the co-feature on the HBO World Championship Boxing card. So, shout out to Main Events and Golden Boy getting this fight done. And I'm looking forward to it. Main Event, I want to see how Kovalev looks coming off of two losses. He talked a lot of shit to Andre Ward. Didn't really back it up. Got stopped. And, I mean, he could say low blows or whatever. But the world scene, I was at both of the fights. And to me, I think he was getting broken down. And the fact that he wasn't able to hurt Ward early like he did in the first fight was getting to him and he started to, to fatigue and just ward had a better game plan in the second go round. and see this is the difference between like anyone can say anything after a loss but this is why i believe what team ward said because they said they weren't able to do road work because of a, a injury and they said in the second training camp they were able to everything was cool the leg was cooperative and it showed because Ward looked rejuvenated and he looked different, right? And he also retired after that saying, um, it's becoming harder and harder to to push myself with these injuries. And as a result, it's taken some of my drive. So I'm retiring from the sport. So his story kind of checks out to me all across the board, right? So realistically, I want to see what Kovalev looks like. You know what I mean? Um, I like them adding Sullivan Barrera to the to the undercard i know they were trying to make sullivan brer versus kovalev it couldn't happen um i don't think he liked the what he was being offered price wise for a name like kovalev but the good thing is when they stage them on the same cards sometimes that's building a future fight so hopefully the winner of kovalev shabransky can fight the winner of barrera versus uh, felix valera and again i don't know too much about his opponent but sullivan brer he's on a tear he beat Shabransky already, and then he broke Joe Smith Jr.'s jaw and, and, and beat him on HBO. So if he gets this win, he, he's up for a big fight and or title shot. So a big check or maybe even a title shot. And I would love to see it. Light heavyweight definitely filling out. You have Badu Jack, who just recently moved up. You got names like Bevo, who are being praised. Arthur Better Biev. You have Adonis Stevenson. You have Vod's Dick, right? A lot of names and, and a lot of names on this particular card. So let me know what you guys think. Sullivan Barrera, do you know much about his opponent? And would you like to see Kovalev versus Barrera in the future? Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.